So to get started, we'll go to Bing and we'll search for Azure Portal. And that will bring back your search results that will allow you to get you your free trial here. Or you can just click on the main link there. Both of them will kind of take you to the same place. And once they're set up here, there are two places you can click to sign up for your free trial, either the Try It Now or Free Trial. So we'll hit Try on Try It Now. You'll type in your Microsoft ID, and this is basically any kind of live ID. You can set up your organizational email, whatever it happens to be, type in your password, and go ahead and hit Sign In. Now, once you're in, uh, you'll be prompted to enter in your information for uh, the billing should you decide to continue on with your, uh, your trial. And so here you get to provide information about yourself. Uh, you'll fill in your credit card information. Again, you won't get billed until you actually exceed your uh, allotment and Azure will let you know. Click sign up and that will go through the sign up and verification process. Uh, there's also a process where it will go ahead and send you a text to do a mobile verification. Now, once you're done with that, Azure will display the information about the trial. And then from there, once it's set up all the information and you see the link there on the side, you can click on the portal to get uh, started. Uh, this portal is the classic portal that was created uh, a little while back for Azure uh, that allows you to go ahead and create new objects and, and manage them. They provide a nice little tutorial to get you started. So you go through and you, for example, see the main menu over there up in the upper right. You can create new down at the bottom. And then you have your commands down in the bottom row there. And then you have your notification window that you can go see uh, what's going on when you're provisioning stuff. Other various things you can see here, you can say new compute and virtual machines, and we'll eventually create a virtual machine in our next video. So what we're going to do now is flip over to the new portal. And with the new portal, you can do similar types of operations, but I think the user interface is a lot simpler. So I switch to new portal, and that will go ahead and launch up a new tab. Now, what we're going to end up doing uh, is we're going to create a new virtual machine in our next video where we're going to provide our whole dev environment for working with Visual Studio and SQL Server integration services for connecting to HANA and being able to move data in and out of SAP HANA with SSIS. And so, for example, to do that, we'd go ahead and say new um, compute here. And then we could go ahead and choose our Windows Server 2012. That's it. Very simple.